So on Saturday morning, Austin FC have announced that they officially terminated Cecilia Dominguez's contract after being with the team for almost two years and being the first ever DP signing for Austin FC. But what was my reaction to Cecilia's termination? My honest reaction was simply this. I didn't show any emotion to it. I was happy about it, but mostly no emotion because it had to happen no matter what. Cecilia Dominguez was the type of player we all thought he was going to fulfill his expectations in his first year, but it sadly never happened. He was mostly a problematic drama queen player, only scored 7 goals in 34 matches. The one important thing he did provide for that first year was he was the first player to score 2 goals in one game in that historic win against Colorado Rapids as Austin FC beat them 3-1. But aside of that, from experience of watching the Mexican League, Cecilia Dominguez used to play for Mexican team Club America. I have a friend who supports Club America and I asked him this question before the 2021 season started. I asked him, so what were your thoughts about Cecilio being with America? And my friend simply answered this question by saying this, he was a problematic player and he never showed up in crucial matches. At first, I didn't believe my friend because it was still early in the year, but as soon 2021 came around, my friend was right. Cecilio never showed up to those crucial games, never fulfilled his destiny of being the key DP player we want him to be. And all he did was argue with the ref, do a lot of diving, and commit so many, so many fouls. Unnecessary fouls, I would say. Excuse me. And we all thought, is he going to be the same player in 2022? Because others would say, I would argue too that Cecilio was trying his best to adapt to the MLS since before joining Austin FC, he used to play in Paraguay. And that's, you know, a whole different meaning, whole different league and a whole different system. And comes around 2022, we saw a whole different Cecilio Dominguez in one game, and that was in the first home game for Austin FC. Cecilio Dominguez provided two goals in the final win against FC Cincinnati, and that game itself gave Cecilio man of the match. And all of us thought about this, Cecilio looks like he's serious this time, he's mature, and he's going to be a key role model to the whole entire team, in the midfield and also as a forward. Enter Miami game, he did okay, did decent, but he kind of showed his drama queen a bit, but came to two crucial matches for Austin MC. Two key games to show to the league that we were serious and that we were a whole different team. Those key games were against Portland Timbers and Seattle Sounders. We lost to Portland Timbers at Portland by a 1-0 loss, and we drew to Seattle in a 1-1 draw at Q2, I mean. But in those two games, Cecilia mostly showed arguing with the ref and did a lot of diving, like he was practicing for the Olympics. And others were saying Cecilia needs to act up, mature, and give him more time. Well, sadly, that time never happened, because we all know what happened in April with that incident of his. I don't want to get into it because we all know what exactly happened, but my opinion on that is that it was fucked up of him doing that, and he, he ruined his career and put a bad image in him. After that, April, we were kind of asking ourselves this question. Are we going to be a better team without Cecilio? And are we going to be different? I mean, obviously the same question to the first I just said. And the answer is yes. Austin MC is in fact a different team without Cecilio Dominguez. Because with Cecilio, we had two wins, one draw, and one loss. We were the first team with 10 goals and two games when we had Cecilio. But after Cecilio Dominguez left, we kind of looked in shambles. We were trying to adapt the wolf ball system. But after April being the first month, Austin MC went undefeated for the first time in club history. We looked different. We had key games, key role games. Mostly the Houston Dynamo game was a true definition of a game without Cecilio and we were better without him as Austin FC beat Dynamo 2-1. In that game, we saw the true partnership of Fagundes and Driussi and we saw the creative side of Nani Pereira. Then comes May, we were totally miserable. We got a win against LAFC, but LA Galaxy, we got two losses against him and one draw, one crucial draw against Orlando City and a loss to Real Salt Lake. And that's where, that was the same question being asked in the month of May. Do we need Cecilio? Do we need his staff? Are we better without him? We're not better. Are we not better without him? You know, it was a countless, endless cycle of that same question. But throughout June till now, July to almost August, Austin MC is fighting for the shield. 
Austin MC is doing back and forth with LAFC with first and second place. Drew Z is fighting for Golden Boots and MLS MVP, and he is now an all-star player. The solution to this, Cecilia Dominguez was the problem. If Cecilia was still with Austin MC, none of this stuff would happen. We would be probably in the ninth place, 10th place, probably not even dead last, but we'd be like around 14th to 15th place. But you get the idea. Cecilia Dominguez was in fact the problem to Austin MC, and him leaving, our team is mentally better without him and physically better without Cecilia. And that leads a better future to Austin MC too, as Austin MC is about to sign future star player Emiliano Rigoni from Sao Paulo because Rigoni was 99% ready to join Austin MC but the 1% it was Cecilia holding him back so now with him gone and joining probably Club Santos Laguna Rigoni will now join Austin MC but yeah you guys that's my full reaction I was kind of not showing emotion to Cecilia leaving because we all know what's going to happen but finally good riddance a huge sigh of relief for Austin MC and I hope we have a better future and better year without him. Well, next year. But you get the point. Anyways, you guys, the name is Vanilla Mexican 17. I'll be back here with probably a reaction video. But for the meantime, stay hydrated and I'll catch you guys on the next one.